Welcome back to True Host Academy. If you're here, you've probably run into the frustrating disk quota exceeded error in cPanel. No worries, let's get this sorted out together, step by step. First things first, this error pops up when you've used up all the disk space allocated to your cPanel account. This can slow down your website or even make it inaccessible, but fixing it doesn't have to be complicated. Step one, clean up unnecessary files. Start by logging into your cPanel and heading to the file manager. Here you'll want to look for any large files or folders that you don't need anymore. Maybe there are old backups, unused media files, or outdated website files taking up space. Go ahead and delete anything you don't need. Step 2. Clear out email and spam folders. Next, let's clear out your email. Head to the email account section in cPanel and check your inboxes. Large attachments, old emails, and especially spam can quickly eat up your disk space. Delete anything unnecessary and empty your spam folders while you're at it. Step Step 3. Manage backups and logs. Backups are essential, but they can take up a lot of space. Check your backup section in cPanel and remove any old or redundant backups. Also, clear out log files. These are records of website activity that can grow over time. You can find and delete them under the log section. Step 4. Use cPanel's disk usage tool to see what's really taking up space. This tool gives you a detailed breakdown of your disk space usage so you can identify any large files or directories. Once you spot the culprits, you can decide whether to delete, compress, or move them. Step 5. Set up automatic cleanup. For ongoing management, consider setting up automatic cleanup scripts. These can regularly clear out temporary files, logs, and other unnecessary data, helping you avoid running into disk quota issues in the future. To set up automatic cleanup in cPanel, you can use a cron job, which is a scheduled task that runs commands at specified intervals. 1. Log in to cPanel. 2. Scroll down to the advanced section and click on cron jobs. 3. If you want to receive email notifications every time the cron job runs, enter your email address in the cron email section. Otherwise, you can leave this blank. 4. In the add new cron job section, you'll see fields to specify the timing for the cron job. For example, to schedule under common settings, select a predefined time interval, like once per day or once per week. Set the exact minute the job should run, for example, 0 for the start of the hour. Choose the hour when the job should run, for example, 2 for 2 a.m. Set the day of the month, for example, asterisk for every day. Choose the month, for example, asterisk for every month. Set the day of the week, for example, asterisk for every day of the week. 5. In the command field, you'll enter the script or command that will perform the cleanup. Here are a few examples to delete temporary files. Enter. Find slash home slash your username slash TMP. Type F name watt.mp. Delete. This command deletes all .emp files in the TMP directory to clear log files. Enter. Find slash home slash your username slash logs. Type F name log delete. This command deletes all .log files in the logs directory to remove old backups. Enter. Find slash home slash your username slash backups. Type F M time plus seven delete. This command deletes files older than seven days in the backups directory. To empty the trash, enter rmrf slash home slash your username slash trash asterisk. This command empties the trash directory. Six. Once you've entered the command and specified the timing, click add new cron job. Seven. To ensure the cron job works correctly, you can run the command manually via the terminal or wait for the cron job to execute at the scheduled time. Final tip, external storage solutions. If you have large files that you need to keep but don't want them taking up space on your server, consider using external storage solutions like Google Drive or Amazon S3. This frees up your cPanel disk space for more critical tasks. By following these steps, you should be able to clear up space and fix that disk quota exceeded error. Remember, keeping an eye on your disk usage regularly will help prevent this problem from cropping up again. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for more tips on managing your website. Thanks for watching True Host Academy, and I'll see you in the next video.